All right, let's take a look at this. Harry Houdin made $32,648 in net pay last year. His monthly, notice monthly expenses averaged $2,456. How much was left over for savings for that year? Okay, so here are his expenses, that's what's going out, and here is his net pay, that's what's coming in. Okay, now notice this is a monthly value and this is an annual value. They want to know how much savings are left for the year. So since it's talking about the year, I'm going to leave this part as a year and change here his expenses to year instead of monthly. So if it's $2,456 a month, there are 12 months in a year. So we take the $2,456 times 12. When we do that, we get $29,472, which is not our answer. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is his expenses for a full year. They want to know how much is going to be left over. Okay, well, he gets $32,648 a year. That's how much he has paid net pay after all of his taxes and everything. Um, and he spends $29,472 of it on regular expenses. We're assuming the, left, the rest would be left for savings. So we take $32,648 minus the $29,472. And it looks like for savings for the year, he'll have $3,176 left over. Here's a similar question. We're going to work it a little different because it asks a little different result. Janelle Sircone uh, made $43,597 last year. Her monthly expenses, once again, averaged $3,124. To the nearest dollar, that's important so that we round properly, how much could she put into savings on average each month. So remember our previous question asked each year and this is asking each month. So instead of having everything in a year, we want it in monthly. Well, this value is already monthly, but this value here, her net pay is as a year. So we want to break that down into months instead. He, she gets $43,597 for the full year. We want to divide that up into months and there are 12 months in a year. Okay, so notice these worked differently depending on whether you wanted to talk about years or months. When we do that, we get $3,633.08. Okay, so that's how much she makes each month. She has expenses of 3,124. So if we subtract the expenses from her pay, we will find out Oops, I got one too many letters there. We will find out um, what her monthly savings could be. So let's go ahead and do that. $3,633.08 minus $3,124. And we get... $509.08, but they wanted it rounded to the nearest dollar. The nearest dollar would just be $509.